I got that. What was that one? A this is little circle. <laughs> <laughs> this is my first IV. Okay, that little that little thingy, and then I don't I forget what that, that is. Was your TV and test. then oh my god, look at the bottom. And then that was an that was blood drawn, I think. This was an IV. That was an IV. This was an IV. That and then I have an IV covered up. With four total glow. IVs. On my pretty blanket. Look how pretty it looks. It looks like sherbet. <laughs> the doctor asked me. She was like, I said, doesn't, uh, she called it pretty. And I said, doesn't it look like sherbet or whatever? And then she goes, oh my gosh, yeah. And she goes, what's your favorite flavor of sherbet? And I'm like, oh, I hate sherbet. <laughs> Wave high. Wait, video? <laughs> you just have to wave high. You wanna you you wanna you wanna sing a song? Uh if you got a request. I'm parking anywhere in this place because it's the main streets. It's actually in like some parking garage. Yeah, it looked like online. It looked like it's like an Asian restaurant to an enclosed behind an enclosed building. That's what happened when is it inside? No, they bring it. Admirer? Like legit. Perhaps? It's vlog time. We have to we have to go through a rundown on all that's happened these past days. Running in the <laughs> so today's February 19th, and we got in here February 14th, Valentine's Day. Bye. Make sure to shut the. Okay. So started Valentine's Day. Ah, so much pain. We came here because I fainted in the shower and I was already diagnosed with like anemia, which is when you don't have enough blood, you know, oh, faint, whatever. And also, I was malnourished because I'd lost a lot of weight um, quickly. Not good stuff. And I had been having stomach pains, so we had to figure out the stomach pains and treat the other stuff. Valentine's Day, doctor calls and they're like, yeah, we gotta get you in now. What am I supposed to say? I had so many people at my doorstep. They were all begging to go on dates with me. I had so many plans on Valentine's Day. I was booked. And then sadly, I couldn't because I had to go to the ER. Otherwise, I would have been on so many dates. It was hard to to get out of the house to go to the ER because it was lined with people like knocking on the door around with flowers. The around the block. <laughs> around the block. But anyways, we get here. It was like early in the morning. We got here and then we waited for like forever. If I was like stabbed and we went to the emergency room, I would have been dead. Oh, my stomach hurts. Okay, I'm feeling better now. You know, I was in the ER. Trigger warning, needles and stuff. Doctors stabbed me with an IV. It hurt so bad. And because of like my veins or something, I'm like prone to like bad veins and stuff. Stabs me. That hurt really bad. It was a very bad experience. But then I had to drink this like horrible drink, okay? But then they get me to the CT, which is basically, they just like, you know, try and figure out what's in my stomach and they like take some pictures and stuff. And it was under the sea themed. And there was like, the thing that I laid down on was a submarine. Also, for someone who has anxiety, a hospital's the worst place. There's people coming in all the time. People coming to see how I am. I'm freaking out, man. I'm scared to sleep because they come in with, while you sleep and that's so awkward. Then we got to the room, our cute doctor. He pulls me aside, starts, 
kicks the parents out of the room, starts asking me crazy questions. I felt personally violated. What was it? It was Valentine's Day, and he was asking questions like, have you ever had a boyfriend? What relationships have you had? I felt violated. I started talking about my seventh grade boyfriend, and he's like, yeah, that doesn't really count. I'm like, yeah, I know. He had to, he had to check my heartbeat. <laughs> and he was probably wondering why I was beating so fast. They stabbed me up a lot. In the middle of the night, they would come in and steal my blood, which doesn't make sense to me. Like, as a person who doesn't have a lot of blood, they're like, oh, you're anemic. You don't make enough blood for yourself. Now let me steal it. I cried a lot. Many pictures of me crying. I, I, they're just fun to take. I can't sleep here. The one time I kicked my family out so I could sleep, the fire alarm starts going off. <laughs> they juiced me up. They hooked me up to the... Mine's in my hand now. And then I had to do my clean out for the colonoscopy and the endoscopy. I was violated. I was violated. <laughs> what is it called? An enema? En enema? Enema? Violated. There's this kid who's next to me who just turned 15, by the way. She's trying to get me in jail. She's like, oh my gosh, there's a 15 year old boy who's like in the whatever thing next to you. See, but mom, I don't need the kid over there in the room next to me, because of all the people, you know, back at the house waiting for me. All these balloons, my secret admirers, and that's true. Oh yeah, the colonoscopy, uh, whatever, they clean me out. No, we're gonna, we're gonna feed you some silly, silly liquids and they're gonna make you fall asleep. I'm like, oh, okay. They're like, you're probably not gonna even remember going back to the surgery room. I'm like, yeah, okay, whatever. I remember everything. They hooked me up to that. I think the doctors asked me a question and I don't I don't remember answering it. They were like, are you doing anything fun this summer? And I think all I said was, oh, I'm gonna go to the UK. And then I was just asleep. But I was like, people always say you get a sore throat or whatever. I don't have a sore throat. A few hours later, I definitely had a sore throat. Oh, I remember on the way, the doctor made me do a little princess wave. But I'm like 17 years old. Here I am in a cat hat and they're having me do a princess wave. I turn into a doll in a year, like. Ooh, I cried to Avatar. I think you were sleeping during that. Um, the one, the one episode where it was like the Tales of Bossing Say, and then Tale of Iroh came on. Yeah, Please like that. from, from the, the vine. vine. I was bawling my eyes out. We've just been watching Netflix, and I've just been switching between New Girl and Avatar. And I usually turn Avatar on when the nurses are in here, because I never know what they're gonna say on New Girl. I already mentioned how I'm pricked up like everywhere. See, my things with the IVs, they'll put it in, and then they infused me with iron, which apparently is really harsh on my veins, and that hurt, and it would burn, and then I would cry. I got, there's a weird thing here, I had an IV there. And then I also had one there. Ooh, I have disposable underwear on. I think everybody should wear disposable underwear. That's what they gave me after I had kids. Ew, it's already dark now. Oh, look at the, oh, look at the sunset. Wow, it's so, oh, you can't see it. Oh, I didn't say what I was diagnosed with. We got the test stuff back, which they've been taking my blood every single night. And then from the CT scan, they were like, whoa, some inflammation's going on in your bowel sister. I was like, yeah, we pretty much know that. So then I had the endoscopy and the colonoscopy, which basically they shove camera tubes down and then up. So they like get all the, you know, like there's just inflammation everywhere and there's pictures, but I, I, I can't look at the pictures. They thought it may be Crohn's. It's colitis, ulcerative colitis, which is a chronic illness. It's lifelong. Let's go. I don't know, you can look it up. I'm sure there's like definitions and stuff, but basically I'm just inflamed. I'm inflamed on the inside, you know, just everywhere. There are treatments, okay, to make it bearable. Some of them are different. There's like infusions you can do like every month. They're trying right now with like these steroids and stuff and then I'm gonna take a pill every day for the rest of my life. And if that doesn't work, then we try other stuff. But it's basically not from this point, now that I'm diagnosed, it's just trying to find stuff that works. I'm supposed to be released tomorrow. This is, this is day, I got in here the 14th and now it's the 19th. So it's like day five. I'm trying to think of funny things that have happened. My dad, comes well, yeah. <laughs> and they're divorced <laughs> so it's like funny because it's like <laughs> she was sleeping next to us the other day calmed out it's sitting in like an upright chair and she's like her mouth is open she's got like quadruple change <laughs> and my favorite part is I like have not slept at all so I'm like up 
and I'll look over and it'll be like 9 or whatever, like 10, and she'll be sleeping, okay? Then we'll both wake up at like 4 in the morning and she'll go, she'll go, I didn't sleep at all! You didn't, I heard you snoring from over here! And the first thing I hear when she wakes up is she goes, I'm so tired, I haven't gotten any sleep. You know who else got it? You know who else got it? And she'll go, oh, I'm in so much pain. <laughs> Ignore this. There it is. Can you do for you right now? I'm good. Okay. Oh my. <laughs> Maybe I'll put my hair up. Because it's getting a little hot. You can literally see my cheeks are getting rosy. <gasps> okay. Everyone hates on hospital food. Best food of the, my entire life, okay? And maybe it's because I'm a picky eater, but I have had chicken tenders every single night. The bread with the butter, the butter. This butter that comes in these little things and it's usually like swirled up is the best butter to ever exist. I would bathe myself in this. You know what this woman does? I, I will get my chicken tenders and she will go, oh, I don't want anything, I'll just get a little shallot. And then she steals my chicken tenders and then she goes, what, you can't share one? It's not the fact that I won't share. It's the fact that you had the option to get your own. The mac and cheese, nasty. I swear, like the, the way that they make it down there, they'll make the mac and cheese and then they'll eat it and chew it for a little bit and then spit it out. Reds with that. She's more sick than me. She'll sit down, she'll go, oh. She can't even drink pop without almost choking. She hiccups and she coughs at the same time. She'll start drinking the Dr. Prepper and she'll go, oh. <laughs> When the doctors come in to check my vitals, they check on her too. <laughs> Especially when she was asleep in the chair next to me, cocked up. Hey, can we get a pulse on her? Maybe I should like get out and walk tonight. Okay, I'm doing a little tour now, Mom. <laughs> Look at this cute little dog thingy. These are my beautiful paintings. These ones are swirls, and these ones are uh, swirls, but like, lines. And then this is the weird troll thing. This is another little Valentine's Day thing, and then flowers. There's my creepy socks with the cow slippers. Whiteboard, that's how many times I pee today. <laughs> This is all the food, which I like haven't eaten any of. This is the bath. This is the amazing shower, <laughs> which, mom, didn't you break the shower head? <laughs> Fixed it. This is a little, look at that, what? If you turn it on too quickly, it like shoots everywhere. Okay, it's gaslighting me right now. Trust me in the fact that I did. Ooh, I can set this down and like do a little dance. My butt is out, okay. And there's a pretty view, I think. <gasps> oh, it is pretty. Pretty it is, mom. My stepmom brought me the sweater that she thrifted. Wow. $4.99 for this beautiful thing. I bet it has bed bugs, but I don't care. They'll keep me company late at night. It's my stuffed animal, Tiger. I named it Tiger because it's a tiger. We're going out to the sunroof place. Don't make that noise. Stop. We're going back to the room. Why is it so hot? It's not. It is. It's so hot. Hairstyles you can do in a hospital. Okay, you got the messy ponytails, and then you put on the little cat hat. Hello? I may be getting out tomorrow, so that may be the end of the vlog. I don't even think I said anything useful in this entire thing. I put on makeup for this. You better like and subscribe. I have to pee. I just remembered a story. Guess what? I was sitting on my hospital bed, and you know what that woman right there did? No, she did. She whips out her feet. <laughs> and she starts buttering them up or something. I'm 
she's got she's got the floor grippers on my bed and I can't get away because I was hooked up. She's just got them out and about the barnacle toes, bro. <laughs> they shouldn't be on my bed in my proximity right now. You guys should be glad I'm not showing you. This one's bad. Mom, why'd you give me a flat face? My one side, you know, it's normal. I turn this way and it's suddenly like a, like I'm 2D. I'm two dimensional. It's always so annoying when people do like side profile trends on TikTok and they like look cool. Like the one where they're banging on the door. They're like, Veronica, open the, open the. I tried that and it like looks like an actual piece of paper with the drawing of a girl on it. Like, guys, get this. My mom wouldn't let me get my septum pierced in the hospital. That's so messed up. And, and the fact that you have an autoimmune disorder, that had nothing to do with it. <laughs> mm, Smake you face. <laughs> I think if I look like past the camera, my eyes will go. Do my eyes go different ways? I don't know if the album will be out by the time I post this, but Prelore's album, I'm on it. So, good news, I'm going home, it's February 20th, I don't feel better, and maybe I'm not supposed to yet, but it kind of sucks, because I was here for a while, and I was just like, got sicker, I guess. I feel really tired, and emotionally just not, just like every little thing is like making me want to burst into tears. Um, I don't know, hopefully things start to feel better. It hurts to do anything, even talking right now, it's upsetting my stomach. Oh yeah, baby. We still have not found out who sent me this. No. I'm. S I still think it's a secret admirer. important thing when leaving the hospital is to steal every one of their condiments. It's all mine. <gasps> My god. <laughs> you came so fast though. Ew. At what? <laughs> what did you just say? I had it open so I could put the camera away. <laughs> Oh my gosh, there's something on the... Hi guys! So basically, all that footage was from a while ago, back in February, and now it's the end of July. So some time's passed, so I can give you a little update, like on recovery and stuff. I am feeling better, and that is great. I haven't had a flare up at all, so that means the medicine's working. I get my blood checked, you know, every, every now and then. I'm not anemic and malnourished anymore since we got the UC kind of under control. Um, I don't have those side effects anymore, so I'm feeling good. So once I finish my junior year cyber through the summer, I can go back to senior year and be normal. I was skeptical when I was leaving the hospital if it would work and stuff because my stomach still hurt, but my stomach doesn't hurt 
like at all anymore and there's like a few things that we're still trying to figure out like I react badly to the sun um, I bloat a lot, you know things like this, but Overall, it's definitely worked. I'd say um, I gained a bunch of weight, which is good You know, I got the color back in my face um, I went to the beach all that stuff and yeah, the summer's been fun It's been it's been great being out of the hospital and not like feeling like I'm dying or anything Just a little progress update and hopefully this helps anyone who has the same thing as me I have ulcerative colitis. I forget if I talked about it or not and even just having the diagnosis has helped Because like then you know when I do feel like crappy and stuff I like know why and I just don't feel like oh I'm just being too lazy all that stuff like I have reasons and the way that we were able to treat it and I genuinely see a difference It's so it's so amazing, but yeah I guess that's the end. I mean, you know, if you stick around and stay with me, you'll see how I improve and stuff, but like and subscribe, It'd be great. Really pay off some of these doctor bills. It's quite, it's quite expensive being sick. Bye, love you guys. Hi. <laughs> It's me, again! Just thought the video was ending, but it's not. I'm, I'm back. That is my bad. I'm 18 now. Uh, the date is February 27th, 2023. Big numbers. I started this vlog 2021. No. I started this vlog a year ago. Actually, more than a year ago, right? I'm 18 now. I had my birthday. I'm an officially an adult. I have dark hair to prove it. But the dark hair isn't that much of a change. I mean, I've had many hair colors <laughs> within the recording of this video. I've been doing good. Definitely not as good as I thought I was gonna be doing. Uh, looking back on this, six months, Katie? You know, little ginger hair, way too optimistic. Yeah, of course everything's gonna like feel okay. You're on steroids. <laughs> I'm learning to manage my life with you, C. For whatever reason, I thought I was gonna be released, you know, and then everything was just gonna automatically be better but like that's just not how it worked i don't know it's something i have to get used to it's a learning process i know everyone always says that but it is it is a learning process you see will come up in like little flares not like big flares where i'm like bleeding again or like have to go to the hospital but you know i'll start to lose weight you know i'll get very low energy my stomach will start to hurt and then i'm like oh gotta get my blood work checked you know what i mean that kind of stuff uh is very helpful knowing the signs you know and flares happen occasionally things can set them off like stress there were things that came with the uc over this year that i realized i did not think about before you know different battles i had to go through unrelated to the uc but that were caused by the you know what i mean i always have had but it increased you know my issues with my body and like body weight that kind of stuff i didn't realize it but the malnourishment obviously made me super skinny and super you know lowest i had ever been before and then after I got released, I was on the steroids and the steroids plumped me up, you know, and got me, you know, I gained a lot of weight. Just the fluctuating of the, you know, weight and just everything, my body image and my face changed a lot. You know, it was just really, I was in a we really weird place. Nobody really talks about it, but like the idea of once you're not sick anymore and like missing your sick body, if that makes sense. Unhealthy things like that, that I have to learn to like get over, which I am learning. You can't look back on a picture of yourself when you were sick sickly like quite literally got exhausted just from standing and be like i wish i was that like no I'm glad to be healthy where i can like you know walk up the stairs and not be exhausted i mean i kind of still am but unrelated it's also hard for me to give you guys like a perfect progress update because you know i'm a complex person and i have a bunch of other stuff wrong with me that we've realized over this year as well i have endometriosis so that's fun and I confuse it with my UC and I'm dying but I don't know which one is the cause you know what I mean and I can't take pain pills with aspirin in it because of my UC and it's it's just a shit show let's look at the positives I went back to school I'm finishing out my senior year fun stuff in person again being more social again you know I'm on meds every single day I get to take these bad boys okay I take a crayon grape and I just chug it you know it's not even that bad I got one for each day of the week you know gotta be a little cute little rainbow they seem intimidating but trust me they're not these are the pills the three big ones are the UC pills but the other two are just vitamin pills you know to make sure I don't get malnourished again and the last one's a heartburn pill ignore that I've just been doing good not as good as you know June Katie cuz she was whatever reason she was very too happy but i am doing good normal good it's crazy to think i've had it for a year 
That's insane. I mean, it, it's insane. Oh, it's so weird to think about. I mean, the pills seem to be working. Luckily, I think this is a treatment for me, you know? I'll, I'll keep you guys updated, you know, if you want to stick around, see what happens to me in another year. <laughs> It only took me a year to get it posted, but here it is. Please like and subscribe. It's a year in the making, okay? This is a lot of effort. <laughs> Keep following me for little vlogs and stuff in the future. In my gap year, I'm gonna be doing a bunch of content, so... Hopefully this helps people. At least, no, you know? I'm going through the same thing. Um, whether it's Crohn's or whether it's all shit of colitis, you know? Same family. IBD. Go down right now under this video and like it. And if you don't, I'm literally sick. What's wrong with you? Yeah, I'll see you guys on the flip side. I don't even know what that means. I really felt like saying it. I, it sounds so cool. Okay, bye. That camera cover was so cheesy. And you're watching Disney Channel.